you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, September 30th, 2014. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The University of Georgia's women's swim team began the competition portion of the season last week with a meet against Vanderbilt, and my guest on today's show notched a victory in the meet. Chantal Van Landingham was a busy world traveler this summer, participating in the Pan Pacific Championships in Australia, where she won two bronze medals. And now the Canadian sprinter is in Athens, Georgia, where she joins us now in the Finis Monitor. Hi, Chantal. It's good to see you. How are you today? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, you've done a lot of traveling the past month, getting to go to Australia for Pan Pax. Uh, did you get to recharge your batteries at all before you had to get back into college? Uh, nope. I actually missed the first week and a half of school. So from Australia, everyone, everyone who was representing Georgia flew straight down here, had to get back in the swing thing quick. <laughs> Gosh, that, that must have been a little bit of harrowing for you, not only just to get back into school, but you had to make up for the, that week and a half you missed. Yeah, I mean, thankfully the first week is drop ad period, so it wasn't too bad, but definitely uh, had to get our brains back into the swing of things. Well, you just tell your professors, hey, it wasn't, it wasn't a vacation. <laughs> you know, I got a couple bronze medals. I got a national record. So it's not like I was just hanging out in Australia doing nothing. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, how would you rate your performances at Pampax? I was really happy with them. Um, anytime I can go a best time, I'm going to be happy with it. Obviously, there's always things that I can improve on. But overall, I think it was a really successful summer for me. Well, you mentioned you got two bronze medals. One was in the 400 medley relay. The other was in the 50 free, uh, mm -hmm. which I think a lot of people were a little bit surprised that you got that bronze medal. You were seated seventh going into the final, so you're out there in lane one. Uh, did you go into the race thinking that you had a shot at a medal? Honestly, no. Um, I, I hate being in the outside lane. I love being in the mix of things, but for 50 free, I, don't, I try to only take one breath, so... That's a good thing, I guess. Um, when I touched the scoreboard, I had no idea what place I was because they don't put the places up. So I just saw my time, and I was so happy with the time. Didn't even found, like, find out. Um, I got third, and my coach a couple minutes later. So definitely a big surprise. Um, super happy, though. First international medal individually. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, to be able to stand on that medal podium, um, you know, the the... the Campbell sisters um, went one, two in that, and then you were sitting there third representing Canada. Was that, and it was on the last day of the meet. I mean, was that a good feeling to, to cap off the whole meet for Canada, which, um, you know, obviously was doing very well? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. It was amazing. It was really cool to be on the podium, especially beside the Campbell sisters. I mean, they're amazing. I look up to them so much, and they're such great people. So it was super fun racing them. Well, as I said, that, that last day of the meet, Canada did so well. I mean, Brittany McLean yeah. got, a, uh, got a medal. Ryan Cochran did very well in the 800. Um, and then you, you in the, the 50. Was there anything special that uh, the coaches were, were saying that day? Or was it just, you know, the stars were aligning for Canada that day? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I guess just the last day of the meet, you know, we really wanted to try to go off with a bang. Um, excited for it to I don't know be over probably a little bit too <laughs> but yeah. it was really cool seeing Ryan and Brittany both do that especially you know Brittany with the Canadian record too to end off the night so it was just it was a really great meet for Canada I'm super proud of everyone well you didn't swim fast enough in at the Nationals to qualify for Commonwealth Games so mm. how did that motivate you and affect your preparation for Pan Pax it definitely motivated me um I at a less than good trials um so it was very disappointing not making the commonwealth team um i think that did just motivate motivate me though um i had a really great training of summer i actually broke my toe about halfway through but oh, no. um 
that's okay. We kind of worked around it. And the whole time I just wanted to, you know, I had the end goal in mind. So what did you do to break your toe? Uh, it's a very stupid story, but I basically just walked into a bench and I guess I was walking pretty fast. I don't know. Don't ask me how, but I'm come up with a better one because <laughs> well, it sounds too lame. It, it sounds lame, but that's what swimmers do. I mean, we're, we're just really clumsy yeah. on land and just stuff like that yeah. happens all the time. Mm -hmm. um, well, you were talking about, uh, you know, being motivated for not making the Commonwealth Games, which was a very big meet for Canada. Mm -hmm. um, next year is even bigger for the Pan American Games, which is going to be in Toronto. Uh, right. I, I'm imagining you're really pumped up to be able to swim on your home turf next year. Absolutely. Yeah, and training has been going really well so far this season. Um, we're definitely changing a little bit of things just because last year I didn't swim as well as I wanted to. So this year has been going really well so far and super excited for SECs, NCs, and then, yeah, later, hopefully the Pan American Games. That'll be really cool. Well, you mentioned you didn't get any break um, after Pan Pass and went right into college. I mean, you got mm -hmm. right into your first meet. You had to swim against Vanderbilt. Uh, mm -hmm. won the hunter free pretty good time and you know what is what is what are your thoughts about how you're how you know you said everything's looking good right now but you know do you feel like you're race ready ready to get into this dual meet season already absolutely i love racing i love dual meets i love being here with the team um we have a great group of girls the freshmen are great they're ready in with the team excited about the season so that dual meet was great. It was a lot of fun, and I think we're all really excited for the upcoming season and seeing what we can do. Do the, do the Bulldogs look like they're going to win a third straight NCAA team title? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, we're training hard every day. You know, we're doing everything we can to be the best we can be, and then the results will take care of themselves in the end. So. Well, you mentioned Brittany McLean earlier. She's also there at Georgia, a fellow Canadian. Does that uh, has that helped you um, on the team, knowing that there is a fellow Canadian, especially when you were a freshman, making that adjustment to the United States? Yeah, it's so nice. Brittany's amazing. She's one of the best people on this team, and it's also nice just having someone to like travel with when we go back home together. She's in the same boat I am, so. Great to have her there for support, and if I need someone to talk to, she always has my back. So, do you guys do you guys talk more to each other than the the other people because you kind of have that Canadian bond? Um, we were very close friends coming in, and we've stayed super close throughout our whole college career. So that's good. But I mean, we're close with everyone on the team too. So. And it helps that there's no rivalry between the two of you. I mean, she's distance and you're sprinter, so, you know. Exactly. Kind of there used to be when we were younger, but now we've definitely gone our separate ways. <laughs> um, and, and just another thing to kind of go back to Pan Pax, I mean, you and Brittany and, and Nick Fink came back with some hardware to Georgia. Did they, was there any kind of team celebration? I would imagine there should have been. Uh, no, not really, but that's okay. I mean... We, I think we're all pretty humble people. We just wanted to get our heads down, get back to work, you know, get into school, get into swimming. So, well, I, I think there should have been some kind of celebration. <laughs> That's a big deal for. I mean, that was, those are three very big swims. I mean, you in the 50, mm -hmm. Brittany in the mile, and Nick in the 200 breast. Again, on the last day of the meet. So, uh, you know, yeah, well, just, thank uh, you. It was, <laughs> it was just a good day for Georgia. A for very sure. good day for Georgia, Canada, everyone yeah. all around. Well, I know you got to get back to everything, yeah. getting, getting back in the swing of things, Chantal. But before we let you go, we want to submit you to our final five. These are five questions we ask our guests on the Morning Swim Show. So the first question okay. for you is, if you could trade lives with any swimming celebrity for one day, who would it be? Oh, that's a good one. Maybe, hmm, I would say Kate Campbell. Okay, very logical choice. Uh, if you could trade lives with any non-swimming celebrity for a day, who would it be? Um, right now, Ariana Grande. <laughs> okay. You a big fan of her music? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty popular now. Uh, besides this current year, what's a year of your life that you would like to relive? Um, probably my senior year of high school. That was a really great year all around. Lots of fun. It would be great to go back and do it all over again. Um, no worries, no stress. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, what's your favorite movie? Uh, 
I am a huge movie buff, so that's a hard one, but probably Lord of the Rings, just the all three of them. Okay, and and then probably, I guess you'd probably throw the Hobbit ones in there. It's kind of all the same thing. Yeah, they're pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last question for you. What's your favorite season? My favorite season is summer, hands down. Okay, even in even in Georgia, it's hot there. In Georgia, no. <laughs> <laughs> summer in Georgia is not bearable for me. Um, summer in Canada is good, though. Yeah, I would imagine so. Well, Chantal, congratulations on your great, successful summer, and we're looking forward to seeing how that translates into college swimming. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Have a good day. You too. And that's going to do it for this episode of the Morning Swim Show. Check out our website, swimmingworld.com, for the latest news in aquatic sports. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.